Hi, my name is Ethan Kelly, and I'm the head spirit sommelier and beverage director at Brandy Library in Tribeca, New York. Uh, today we're just going to talk about the aperitif cocktails. Uh, before dinner, especially in the summer months, calls for something a little bit lighter. Uh, we call these aperitif cocktails. Uh, some of your more popular ones include your gin martini, uh, Negronis, and uh, champagne cocktails. So when uh, we sat down to create a new one, we had to really think on how to uh, play with an old classic, uh, keeping in mind that some of your original martinis uh, included up to 50% vermouth. Uh, so that's where our starting point was. As always, aperitifs very European, uh, think British, and when we think British, we think gin, and that's where this whole, uh, whole thing starts. This cocktail really only has two primary ingredients um, in equal parts. It's an ounce and a half of gin, and then an ounce and a half of uh, Pinot de Charente. Pinot de Charente is a category of dessert wine, uh, but technically isn't a wine. There's nothing fermented about it. It's one part cognac to three parts unfermented grape juice from the cognac region. Uh, it's typically served chilled. It is absolutely wonderful and uh, tastes like a cold uh, white port, if you've ever had one. Uh, if you go over there, remarkably, you can drink it excessively for breakfast and lunch, which is always a good thing. That's the almost entire cocktail right there. You just have to add ice and stir it up. If you have any uh, gin martini drinkers or Vespa drinkers uh, in your home, this is absolutely ideal. Not gonna <clears throat> just about done right there. The only really fun part about this cocktail is using an ingredient you don't find too often, but you can pick up at just about any gourmet uh, grocery shop or a cooking, cooking store. This is called orange flower water. Uh, you only need a drop or two. It is very powerful, very pungent, and it's more for the nose than anything else. The only garnish required, twist a lemon. If you are feeling insufferably British and want something other than a gin martini or a Pimm's cup, that is the cocktail for you. And we call that the full blonde.